Welcome to GC Ready Technologies. SQL tutorial for beginners. SQL structured query language. See, is a standard language for standard database language for storing, manipulating, and retrieving data in relational databases. It's a database language, a domain specific language. It is not, it is not for all domains or multiple domains like Java. Java is general purpose programming language. Python is general purpose programming language. But our SQL is not a general purpose programming language. It is a domain specific language. What is the domain? Database. See, structured query language is a database language for storing, manipulating and retrieving data in relational databases. Other type databases also there, non-relational databases or NoSQL databases. SQL doesn't support NoSQL databases or non-relational databases. Okay, SQL was initially developed at IBM in the 1970s. It became a standard of the ANSI, ANSI, American National Standards Institution in 1986. Next, SQL is the standard database language for relational database management systems like Oracle, MySQL, MS SQL Server, MS Access, IBM DB2 and Postgres SQL etc. Next, although most database management systems use SQL, most of them also have their own additional proprietary extensions that are used on their systems only. Example, PLSQL, Procedure Language Structured Query Language, PLSQL, Extension of SQL in Oracle, Transact SQL in MS SQL Server, etc. See, next, subsets. Subsets are sub languages of SQL are data definition language, data manipulation language, and data control language, etc. Next important one, SQL skills are required for database developers, database administrators, and database testers, manual testers, as well as automation testers. Okay. Um, we can conduct uh, 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 database testing manually as well as using automation tools like Selenium, UFT, RFT, etc. Okay. Uh, in this video series, I planned 15 to 20 chapters. Using this video series, uh, you can learn SQL as your own. See, first chapter in this uh, uh, video series or in the subject introduction to databases and RDBMS relational database management system uh, in this chapter we are going to discuss what is a database types of databases next relational data uh, DBMS database management system next RDBMS relational database management system and non-relational databases are no SQL databases. Next, second chapter in this subject, introduction to SQL, structured query language. In this chapter, uh, we will discuss data, uh, what is SQL, what is structured query language. Next, purpose of SQL, who should learn SQL, what are the subsets or sub-languages of SQL. Uh, next, brief introduction about data definition language, data manipulation language 
and data control language. Next, third chapter in this subject, install database engine. See, database engine, database software is required for database engine is required to use or practice SQL commands or queries. We can use any database engine, either Oracle or MySQL or MS SQL Server or Postgres SQL, etc. for practicing or using database, uh, what is that one, SQL commands or SQL queries. Okay, uh, in this video series, I am going to install Microsoft SQL Server Express Edition, that is free edition. Uh, you can easily download and install Microsoft SQL Server Express Edition and practice. Simple one. Next, SQL Syntax. See, the syntax of the structured query language is a unique set of rules and guidelines, uh, which is not case sensitive. Its syntax is defined and maintained by the ISO and ANSI standards. See, syntax is system grammar. Next, uh, anyhow, SQL is command-based language, uh, simple language. Next. SQL data types. See, data types are used to represent the nature of the data that can be stored in the database table. For example, in a particular column of a table, uh, if you want to store a string type data, then we will have to declare a string data type of this column. Okay, data types for table columns. Suppose name, string type data, uh, salary, numeric data, like. Next, SQL operators. An operator is a reserved character or word which is used in SQL statements to query our database. We use a where class to query a database using operators. Operators are are uh, needed to specify conditions in a SQL statement. See, uh, we have different categories of operators, arithmetic operators, comparison operators, and logical operators, etc. Next, seventh chapter in this subject, or in this video series, SQL, DDL, <coughs> sorry, subset of SQL, data definition language data definition language is a language used for defining and modifying the data and its structure it is used to build and modify the structure of our tables and the other objects in the database next sql data manipulation language dml Data manipulation language is used to access and modify database data by using the select, update, insert, delete, truncate, etc. commands. Next, SQL data control language, DCL. Data control language deals with the commands used in SQL that permit that permit a user to access, modify, or work on the different privileges in order to control the database. Okay, data manipulation language is important for database developers. Data, sorry, data definition language is important for database developers. Data manipulation language is important for database testers. Data control language is important for database administrators. If you know all subsets of uh, SQL, then it is easy to uh, understand uh, database development, database testing, database administrator. 
administration. Next, SQL functions. Important chapter, SQL functions. What uh, In this chapter, we are going to discuss what is a function, different types of SQL functions. Uh, example, SQL string functions means operations on strings. Uh, these are built-in functions, predefined functions. Okay, what is a function? Different types of SQL functions. Uh, next, string functions, operations on strings. Next, numeric SQL numeric functions, operations on numbers. SQL database, uh, SQL date functions, operations on dates and SQL conversion functions, etc. See, these built-in functions are uh, used to write your SQL statements easily. Next, SQL stored procedures. Stored procedures for reusing statements. Uh, they are similar to user defined functions in programming. They can accept parameters and perform operations when we call them. See, SQL functions, 10th chapter, built-in functions. Next, SQL stored procedures, user-defined functions like you can create your own functions for your project. Next important chapter, SQL queries and sub-queries. See, uh, this chapter is very important for database testers okay the sql queries are the most common and essential sql operations via an sql query one can search the database for the information needed sql queries are executed with the select statement an sql query can be more specific with the help of several Classes, classes, important topic, classes. Next, we have to learn SQL classes. SQL classes, uh, example, where group by having and order by, etc. Where class is important class. Uh, SQL classes help us to retrieve a set or uh, bundles of records from the database, from the table. They help us to specify a condition on the columns or the records of a table. See, SQL classes for writing conditions in our SQL statements. See, in SQL language, uh, SQL is language only, in SQL, structured query language, we don't have control flow statements like uh, if condition, switch, switch, next for loop, while loop, do while loop, etc. For, uh, for writing conditions, we can use SQL classes, where class, group by, having, and order by, etc. Okay, next, SQL giants, important, uh, this one also important. Uh, what are SQL giants? The SQL giant class, the SQL giants class is used to combine records from two or more tables in a database. Suppose if you want to retrieve data uh, from two or more tables, for that we need to use SQL giants. Uh, see once again. The SQL giants class is used to combine records from two or more tables in a database based on a common field between them. Next, different types of giants are inner giant, left giant, right giant, and full giant. Next, SQL views. Views in SQL are considered as a virtual table. A view also contains rows and columns. To create the view, uh, we can select the fields from one or more tables present in the database. A view can either have
specific a view can either have specific rows based on certain condition or all the rows of a table next sql indexes uh, the create index statement is used to create indexes in tables indexes are used to retrieve data from the database more quickly than otherwise the users cannot see the indexes they are just used to speed up searches or queries next sql transactions say a sql transaction is a grouping of one or more sql statements that interact with a database a transaction is its entire uh, entirety can commit to a database as a single logic unit or roll back as a single logic unit in sql transactions are essential for maintaining database integrity next sql injection sql injection is a code injection code injection technique that might destroy your database it is one of the most common web hacking techniques it is the placement of malicious code in sql statements via web page input next sql triggers a trigger in sql is a procedural code that is automatically executed in response to certain events on a specified table creating triggers in sql this are uh, here important topics in this chapter creating triggers in sql displaying a trigger in sql drop a trigger in sql advantages of triggers and disadvantages of triggers in sql next uh, one or two other topics also there normalization etc next at the end we will discuss sql versus no sql databases see sql databases are relational databases next no sql databases are non relational databases see sql databases are vertically scalable example for sql databases oracle mysql uh, cybase db2 ms access ms sql server postgres sql etc next no s uh, while no sql databases are horizontally scalable uh, example for no sql databases mongo db cassandra couch db couch db etc sql databases are table based while no sql databases are document key value graph or wide column stores based this is about sql for beginners thank you